Styling Neutral Outfit Ideas, Elegant Spring Outfits 2022. Today I will be sharing my fashion tips and a few favourite looks to help you create the perfect neutral outfits this spring. In fashion circles of old, beige always got a bit of a bad rap, but hopefully this video will show that in 2022, that soft, calm and elegant palette can be your secret tool to have in your wardrobe. Let me show you how. A portion of this video has also very kindly been sponsored by Lily Silk, whom I've had the great pleasure of working with a few times on my channel. I'll be sharing a couple of beautiful neutral outfits from them too a little bit later in this video. But first, let's start with the foundation. Making neutrals the foundation of your wardrobe can have a really positive effect on your outfit ideas. Of course, you can introduce a pop of colour from time to time, or all of the time if you wish, but having those building blocks, so to speak, in a gorgeous palette of elegant neutral tones will always see you right. Take this look, for example. It's very simple, very classic and elegant, yet the reality is I'm just wearing a pair of jeans, a shirt and a pair of loafers. But the reason I think it works so well is because of those soft neutral tones. None of those different items are competing with each other. They're just happily blending side by side. Depending on the weather, I might add another staple with a blazer or a trench coat. But in this outfit today, I've just gone with a color coordinating spring jumper over my shoulders. I'll often reach for this look, not only for practicality reasons, but because it gives me the ability to add another tone and texture into my outfit ideas. Do let me know your favorite outfit idea in the comments as we go along, and all of the links of everything I'm wearing, plus ideas of new and noteworthy pieces that I've found recently will be in the description box below. Along with having that core foundation of staples in your capsule wardrobe, I'd also highly recommend keeping an eye out for neutrals with interesting details, an asymmetrical hem, an unusual style of buttons, or in this case, embroidered ruffles and lace. I think this blouse is absolutely beautiful. It's like an heirloom piece. But because I chose it in such a soft blue neutral tone, I know it will be hugely timeless in my wardrobe. I do believe that bright colors can sometimes detract from the beautiful details an item may or may not have. If this blouse was in bright pink, for instance, it's hard to see past that. I might not notice the frill down the front placket or the lace trim on the cuffs, but because they've kept the color simple and elegant, it really lets those details take center stage. I'm not really keen on the term look expensive, but it is certainly easier to make an outfit look more premium when it's in neutral shades. Across the high street right now, I found a few other examples too. This linen dress at Mango with a mini cutout. This patchwork effect jacket is just gorgeous. The neutral tone lets this knit stand out on this maxi dress, and the wrap skirt portion on this dress is a lovely touch. I've linked a few of my favorites in the description box below. When I do want to add a pop of color into my outfit ideas, I tend to balance it out with a base of neutrals. That seems to bring it back into the realm of elegant, so it's a trick I tend to reach for a lot. In this look, for example, I wanted to wear one of my favorite Breton stripe tops, but the stripes are red and I wouldn't say they're exactly subtle. So to tone down that effect, I layered one of my favorite neutral blazers over the top and finished with my classic straight jeans. That camel tone adds a subtle, sophisticated edge to the look. It's calm but refined and feels so much more put together. And this theory would work whichever neutral blazer you have in your wardrobe. A beige, a deeper brown, a navy, the effect is still the same, calming down that brighter tone until the whole look together feels cohesive. On colder days, I take this a step further and layer my long wool coat over the top. I love the look of blazers layered under coats, and it just brings in another shade within the same palette, yet a contrasting texture for extra polish. Fast fashion made in cheap and cheerful fabrics is, in my opinion, such a false economy. I would always much rather save and invest in the nicest quality I can afford rather than have, say, five items that I'll no doubt end up throwing away after about a year. Helping me style these neutral outfit ideas today is a brand that I've had the great pleasure of working with before. 
Lily Silk. Their whole ethos as a company is based on using the very finest grade 6A mulberry silk that money can buy. And speaking from experience here, they're truly made to last. As this video is all about elegant outfit ideas, I thought Lily Silk would be a perfect fit. So I've chosen some really classic, timeless pieces of theirs to add into my wardrobe. So firstly, I've gone for this camisole top, something I would consider a staple for my spring summer wardrobe. And like we were talking about before, looking for those interesting little details really does make a difference. I love the delicate double spaghetti straps, the handmade pleats of that silk, those gentle ruffles falling down. This feels like a hero piece all in itself, very effortlessly chic. Next, I went for a very classic shape with a twist with this knitted polo in navy blue. If you've never tried knitted silk before, I can highly recommend that you do. It feels amazing against your skin. It's incredibly breathable too, so perfect for once it starts to heat up a little bit, fingers crossed. I love the fit of this polo, accentuating my shape in the right way and really just allowing that beautiful quality to shine through. When thinking about neutral outfit ideas, you could of course introduce stripes, either making sure the shade is pretty subtle or layering a neutral piece over the top to really balance it out. I don't think you could ever go wrong having a beautiful silk shirt in your capsule wardrobe and one created with this season's oversized fit adds a little nod to that trend, but in a really elegant fashion and one that drapes really beautifully. So as you can see, my last piece I chose at Lily Silk does swerve somewhat from the theme of this video, but I've wanted to try out their silk pajamas for so long that I'm really not too sorry. And oh my goodness, these feel amazing to wear. Made from the same grade A mulberry silk and with this relaxed fit, it feels decadent and luxurious, but so incredibly comfortable at the same time. Really love these. I'm actually quite tempted to film the rest of this video in my pajamas. As you would hope, I do have a discount code for you. I've added that plus a link to their full range in the description box below for you to view at the end of this video. Once you've got yourself a collection of lovely neutral staples, I'm sure you'll agree that it's then so easy to mix and match those pieces into lots of different outfit ideas. A camel blazer would work with your white jeans, which would work with the trench coat, which would work with the embroidered blouse, etc. Along with mixing and matching like that, you could also experiment with different shades of the same color. Like here, for example, I'm wearing beige linen trousers, a simple white tee, a light beige cardigan over my shoulders, and at a stretch, let's call those dark beige loafers on my feet. You get the idea. All those different shades of beige blended together in one outfit idea can make a really lovely effect. It's simple, yes, but making sure that you choose those individual elements in the highest quality you can afford will really pay off for your outfit ideas. A pair of flimsy static polyester trousers will look like a pair of flimsy polyester trousers. Save up your pennies for a nicer composition rather than having three pairs of cheap ones and you will see the difference in your looks. An easy way to really elevate a neutral outfit is to add at least one hero piece into the mix. So for example, here I'm wearing a very simple casual outfit, the sort of thing I would probably wear on a day-to-day -day basis. Add in that hero item like a neutral trench coat and suddenly that addition of tone, shape and texture adds a new dimension into the look. Another example would be this look. Again, I'm just styling my staples that I love and wear on repeat but it could be a little bit boring just on its own. Even just adding in a neutral handbag elevates the whole outfit idea to feeling far more elegant and refined than it was before. Now you don't need to have this exact trench coat or this particular handbag in your own wardrobe, but the action of adding in a beautiful neutral hero piece is really what makes the outfit ideas stand out. So I'd highly recommend you have a go at this trick yourself. Try on your most basic outfit you have and add in just one favorite neutral item. I hazard a guess the effect will be pretty dramatic for such a simple addition. 
Thinking of greys, I wanted to try out another combination with my favourite pair of tailored trousers. And I found this pretty blouse in my summer storage. I bought this last summer, I believe, and although that mint tone is stronger than the other neutrals that I've been styling today, it's still a muted shade of green that I think fits in well. I don't actually think I did this consciously, but it does help having that slightly stronger tone in a lighter fabric like this, it makes it feel more subtle somehow. Then giving this outfit more of a soft power dressing vibe, I finished with my grey blazer. Grey separates always look that little bit extra chic when they're oversized, which is definitely what I'm finding with this particular jacket. And with soft tailoring being super on trend this spring summer, these sorts of looks tick that box perfectly. And styling neutral outfit ideas for the office has never really been easier. I found an idea or two from most of my favorite brands. All very timeless looks, all easy to interpret for the office, but also pieces that I would happily wear on an everyday basis too. The sign of a good piece. Perhaps like me, you don't actually work in an office, or maybe you just like to look smart and elegant, but maybe with a bit of a bohemian spirit. That, I'm pleased to say, will work with neutrals too. I love white, beige, or accru summer dresses. It's probably my most bought shade of dress. And my main reason for that is the longevity of the shade. A pretty white dress is always going to be a pretty white dress, no matter how many years have passed. Had I bought this in last summer's very on-trend neon pink, however, and I hazard a guess I wouldn't be getting my cost per wear out of it. But softer crew with a little detailing in the embroidery, that's going to last a lifetime. A new way of styling this dress for me would be with my Chanel dupes that I just bought from ASOS. Coco Chanel would cringe at the quality, I'm sure, but they were certainly a lot more affordable. But paired with this style of dress that's quite nipped in at the waist, it gives the look more of a Parisian vibe, which I do like. I found some other lovely flats that I think would work equally well with dresses like this. I love that combination together. It's very feminine, but very Jane Birkin-esque as well, which is probably why I like it so much. And altogether, I love the juxtaposition between girly detailing and classic staples. When I'm looking for new items to add into my own wardrobe, there is a bit of a mental checklist of things that I ask myself. Like we talked about before, does it have any interesting details? Could I imagine myself wearing it in, say, five years' time? Is the drape flattering on my shape? And when something ticks all of those boxes, I know that I can safely add it to basket. I know I'm going to get lots of wear out of it. Going back to this camel blazer, but styling it in a fashion that I probably reach for the most. T-shirt, jeans, and a blazer. It shouldn't feel more complicated than that. But because of those neutral tones and that clean, crisp cut on the blazer, it's a look that I can wear time and time again and never really get bored of. Sometimes I mix it up and add a strappy heel or a cami instead of a t-shirt, but really it's a classic for a reason. It never fails to make me feel elevated and polished. That crisp tailoring, that fit that's just so, in a beautiful palette of soft tones are some of the best ingredients I could advise for making elegant spring outfits this 2022, or any season for that matter. If you're not a fan of blazers, think about crisp tailoring on your bottom half instead. A beautiful pair of trousers with those perfectly placed pleats, or a skirt even that fits and flatters your shape. I found a few examples across the high street that I would gladly add into my own wardrobe. Now, whether you decide to go for clean, crisp cuts when styling neutral outfit ideas, or maybe something more relaxed like I'm doing in this next look, balance is key to creating the perfect outfit. For instance, this favorite spring jumper is pretty loose relaxed and it's made from knitted cotton. Paired with this skirt, I'm contrasting against that knitted cotton texture with something silky and smooth. I've mixed up my shapes from the slouchy on the top to that straight and minimal on the bottom. And although something block navy would work equally well, I actually like the juxtaposition of the lighter toned jumper against the darker toned skirt. And here's another idea that I equally love, using that same maxi skirt, but this time adding my lovely new camisole on my top half. That cami has lots of detail on it with the pleats and the gathers, so the shape contrasts beautifully against that rather minimal looking skirt. 
The slightly wider shape of the top balances out with the clean line of the skirt and obviously the tones balance out each other really nicely. Hopefully showing that you actually don't need a huge wardrobe each season. Buy your items well and you'll find that you can mix and match them into so many different outfit ideas. A neutral handbag will always elevate even the simplest of outfit ideas. So I'd really advise thinking about the tones you invest in with bags too. A beautiful handbag is often an investment piece, I know, but if you get the shade right, you should have it for life. I really hope you've enjoyed how I've styled my neutral outfits and it's given you lots of tips and ideas of how you can create your own elegant looks this 2022. Don't forget to let me know your favorite outfit ideas in the comments below. And if you're not already subscribed, that would be lovely too. Don't forget to follow the link in the description box below to view the new collection at Lily Silk. And if you do decide to spoil yourself or maybe somebody else, there's that discount code there for you too. I shall be back on Sunday with more outfit ideas and inspiration. So hopefully you'll join me then. Happy styling everyone and have a great week. Take care.